Welcome to the Harvest Bible Chapel Kuala Lumpur small group study called Uncommon Community. You know, here at Harvest KL, small groups are so important to us. When we say that a disciple should walk with Christ, what we're saying is that they would live the Christian life and really that we would do that in community with each other. And so that's why we say here at Harvest KL, we're not a church with small groups, but we are a church of small groups, meaning uncommon communities of small groups that are interacting together, multiple small groups that come together and worship and serve the Lord together on Sunday mornings. And so uh, we are doing a study called Uncommon Community to help us understand uh, really what that means, what, what the Bible describes it to be. Uh, the mission statement of our small group ministry here at Harvest KL is that we would be, we exist to provide uncommon community that grow disciples of Jesus by applying the truths of God's word daily. And we wanna try to do that right now. And so uncommon community, the first session, uh, if you have your books, you can open uh, on page seven here, it says, you are not an island. And uh, the title is really giving us the negative viewpoint of that. Uh, really, it's trying to help us understand that islands are separate from the continent, from the mainland. They're their own entity over here. And many times uh, there's small islands, uh, the smallest islands, it's difficult to live on. There's not the things that are needed to sustain life, at least not for over an extended period of time. Now, obviously there's larger islands as well, but you get the concept. Uh, that we as Christians are not supposed to be islands separated from the rest of the body of Christ. That's what's negatively being stated here. Really, session one is about defining properly the biblical word fellowship. And so we're trying to understand what fellowship really is. And uh, in this, we have a memory verse. It comes from Proverbs 18, verse 1. It says, whoever isolates himself seeks his own desire. He breaks out against all sound judgment. And really, as we study this, we're seeing here that isolation, while it might be a human tendency, is not God's design for how we're supposed to live the Christian life. That's, that's breaking out. That's, that's, that's foolishness, really. And it's a selfish thing that's really coming in there. And so uh, tonight, as you do your particular study, really what, you're, what we're seeing here is that God has designed us to be vitally connected and like all parts of a human body, and we're supposed to be a people together as a community. And that comes right out of God's word in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I hope you have your Bibles open and we can read this together here. And let me just point out a couple of things. Actually, I'm reminded that if you don't have your Bible, it's right here on page 10 as well. And so let's, let me just read this. It says, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. For the body does not consist of one member, but many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And then if, if an ear says, because I am an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make any, it any less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would be the sense of hearing? And if the whole body were an ear, where would be the sense of smell? But as it is, God arranged the members of the body, each one of them, as he chooses. Notice, being together in an uncommon community is God's choice. If we all were a single member, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. Now, so in this, we see uh, that God chooses, God's choice, God's plan is that we would be together as a body of believers. And so in a moment, you're going to, again, you're gonna read all this scripture and then you're gonna do a discussion having already completed, I hope, the study as you were assigned. And really what we're trying to do here is to understand that we are supposed to be seeking a community. We're supposed to be seeking interconnectedness. And we're supposed to be, uh, ra rather than ha being isolated and pushing people away and trying to live the life independently as an island, that we should be craving that body of Christ gathering around us. And we should be valuing each other. And should we, we should be engaged in the activities of that. And so so tonight, your task is to study and understand this more fully and to really get a better grasp on what does it mean to be an uncommon community? What does it mean to fellowship with one another according to God's word? How do we avoid the human tendency for isolation? 
and rather pursue and seek after the community that God has placed us in. I think God's going to bless us immensely in this, and I would encourage you, dig in hard, lean in hard now to the Word of God. Spend a moment now, pray, read the scripture one more time, and then your small group leader will lead you through the rest of the discussion. You are loved.